the skull is a very, very intricate structure. Tons and tons of bones make up the skull. So we break it up into the cranial bones and the facial bones. All these bones, except for the jaw or the mandible, are fused together by sutures. So it's not just one bone. It's all these different bones that come together to form the skull. We have a whole bunch of different holes or foramens in here and meatuses and fissures that then are important passageways for arteries veins and nerves so they're looking at the fissures in the eye we see two little foramens above and below the eye so in this video we're going to be going over all the major structures of the skull all the major bones of the skull yeah. this is a blue heron bouncy because you guys are currently on my knee and I'm floating on a kayak. Whew. Okay, there, we got a good shot of him. This is what I like to call my budget scuffed Damien Explorers scene. For better content like this, please follow Damien Explorers who is actually a professional bird photographer. This is Doc Explorers. All right, we have the booster coming in right there. Okay, this is amazing. Oh, this is so cool. Oh man, look at that. Look at that little toasty marshmallow. It's a, that thing freaking landed on that little barge. I thought the barge would be so much bigger. So now, how do we get a yellow lab, like Watson here, out of a black lab father? So Watson's father, his name's Max, had to have had a recessive trait in the pigment to be expressed in the hair. So Watson doesn't express pigment in his hair, but if you look at his nose, his nose is brown. Now when he was a puppy, his nose used to be very black. That suggests that he can produce melanin. So there are yellow labs that have a brown nose. That means their pigment for melanin is recessive. Both of those traits, both of those alleles, are the recessive traits. So little b, little b, homozygous recessive. So Watson, since he had a black nose when he was a baby, was either heterozygous or homozygous dominant for black lab. However, the epistatic trait in this case was whether or not he expressed the pigment in the hair. And since he's a yellow lab, he does not express that pigment. Pigment. Now, why is your nose getting brown? This is a trait that sometimes happens in yellow labs. So to produce that black melanin pigment requires an enzyme called tyrosinase. Tyrosinase is part of that enzymatic reaction. Now, as labs get older, they no longer have that ability or they lose that ability to have that active tyrosinase enzyme so they slowly stop producing that pigment and it's best seen in their nose. Now that doesn't say they don't have that black lab in them anymore, they're not still carrying that gene, but that enzyme just doesn't work as well to deposit that black pigment. Our little student here, Watson, made a great example of epistasis. Watson, smile. Good actors always get their treats. Good boy. Ready? Here he comes. Oh, that one splashed me. That should have been a good shot. Then down here, gluteus medius. And then everyone's favorite, the gluteus maximus. So there's a maximus, a medius, and a minimus deep down inside. This little area right here, we found 39 bottle caps. Well, 37 corona, two angry orchards. Like, what the heck? Also, we can see if I draw the outline of the cell right here, there's some pinching going on. Um, let's switch to a different color, pink. What this pinching is doing is this, this ring of actin. So this actin filament is actually pinching this cell and it's gonna split it off into two. That's how the cell separates. So as these move away from each other, this ring splits, gets tighter, tighter, and tighter, and tighter, and then it splits the cell into two. Imagine having a balloon and putting a rubber band in the middle and then just twisting the top of that rubber band, 
causing the rubber band to get tighter, tighter, and tighter. That's kind of what this actin filament does as it wraps around the cell membrane there. So kind of neat how that works. A run for his money in the mud of the year category. <laughs> It's like I uh, programmed Captain Jack to listen to me. Oh, oh, did you see that one? <laughs> Why is bird pooping so funny? <laughs> and here we can see the different colors coming through. So whereas green is where we have the chlorophyll, which is transmitting the green light, absorbing the other pigments. So now here at the edges, the chlorophyll has died. So the carotenoids are able to withstand greater temperature changes and you know whatever is causing these leaves to change color. So out here, red light is being transmitted uh, through those carotenoids. So slightly different light absorbing pigments found in the leaves. And usually we all see green because chlorophyll is the most abundant. But if the chlorophyll begins to degrade or isn't present, that's when you see the different colors in the leaves. I'm tired. I'm just digging up cans, wondering, you know, what is life? You know, am I just a can digger upper? Am I ever gonna find diamonds? Am I ever gonna find gold? Or am I just gonna find cans all my life? I'm okay with cans, because finding something is better than finding nothing. No way it can be a can again. A can. What do we have? I see something. Oh, this is a good one. It is. A can. Why do they put blood plasmas into the IV drips? Is that because the plasmas are rich? So, um, yeah, you have to have the concentration of what, what's entering the body uh, to be equal to what's in there. If not, all the red blood cells could either lyse or shrivel. Um, it's called tonicity. So if IVs are too highly concentrated, water will actually come out of your red blood cells, causing them to shrink. If the concentration is too low, let's say you inject someone with uh, deionized water, which pretty much has nothing in it, that will actually cause water to come out of the, or come into the red blood cells. It's called a hypotonic solution, and it could cause your red blood cells to lyse. <gasps> Doctor Hello, how are we doing today? Subscribed. What was that? My mom? Hello, mom. How are you doing? Are you really there watching this early? Is everything working? I did a um, different, a slightly different setup today. Watson, stop barking, bud. Uh, I am using RTX today. So, if, oh, here's U, a UPS truck right now. But I hope everything is working okay. So he doesn't really like that. Uh, too much right now. Wait, you subscribed for six months? Did you use your Amazon Prime to do that? I hope so. All right. Well, I didn't really make much of a plan going in today, but I want to bring this over here so I have it. Um, Ryan, thank you for subbing. Jeez, it's because I haven't streamed for a while. Is my head cut off? Oh, wow. I need to bring the camera angle up. You all tell me that. Right? Problem is, I get a light source in it if I bring the camera angle up. Let's try this. How does this one look? Headless stream. Okay, good. I just don't want, uh, there's a, a light bar up here that I don't want to get in the camera. But we should be, okay, if I bring it up just a tad more. What's up, mean machine? All right, the doctor office. All right, cool. Well, you figured out how to do that on mobile then. Yeah, I think the, the light's just in it just a little bit, but I think... We're okay. I think that'll work. This is my fan. This is a very important fan. I don't know if, how loud that is for you all, or if it is loud. Quit fussing. 
Well, I am fussing. I haven't hit record yet. I'm going to hit record on the camera here quick so that I don't have to worry about downloading the VOD and editing from that later. We're trying to make a video out of this. You see how, all, how dirty uh, the workbench is today? That is from cleaning the end joiner. I don't know if you saw that uh, picture I posted on Instagram and in Discord, but yeah. Okay, that looks good. I'm not wearing my hat today either. I feel like we're inside. I don't need to wear a hat while inside. Okay, I'm gonna hit record on the camera. What all do I wanna say? No, I'll just explain it when I start. So everything is going. So when they're uh, making the IVs and stuff, they gotta make sure the concentrations match what's inside the body or you can cause severe problems by lysing someone's red blood cells. And this why you, that's also why you should not drink deionized water. Stuff in your water is good because you don't. Okay, we're back. I hit the wrong button on the camera. <laughs> What's up, Jen? How are we doing? All right, I'm gonna do a little uh, introduction here. So you all can see what we're doing today. I didn't really plan out what I'm gonna say. We're just gonna start and go with it, okay? Hope everyone's fine with that. Should I put my hat on then? Do I need to wear my hat? Is that, is that a problem? Is that gonna be a problem? Do I need to wear my crusty hat? Will that make you feel better? We're cooking wood today. I have some wood. Yeah, you didn't know Glow was gin? Always been gin. Always. All right. Maybe I need to wear my crusty hat. Just comb my hair. Is that better? I'm enjoying yesterday's pro. Wait, what's yesterday's projects? I don't need to comb my hair. Let's see. All right, we should be good. Much better. Hammock hair. You know, I'm going to put my hat on. Screw you all. No, I'm not. We're fine. All right, let's get going here. Um, alrighty. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to the workshop. So today we're going to be building a rain barrel stand. So if you remember, in one of the last videos, we went to the Marine Resources Council, and we did that video with Nicole there and talked all about the Indian River Lagoon, the health of it, mangroves, and another thing we talked about were rain barrels. When I was there, I happened to have bought a rain barrel from them. Remember in the video, she mentioned how well, you could buy the rain barrel for 55 bucks. So I did that, added a little bit of donation on top of it, and now we have a rain barrel. So one important thing with a rain barrel is making sure it's on a flat level surface and elevated so that you can fill it up from the bottom. Um, I, right now, mine is on some milk crates, and it works. And I know I wanted to update it, but I traveled for a week, and now I'm back, and I can finally make a slightly better base for it. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. I have an old fence post that previous owners of this house left some fence material here. And I'm finally on the last fence post and I went out and I needed to buy one more fence post. So I plan to make a structure where the rain barrel sits down inside, there's four legs, and it's pretty much a bunch of half lap and cross lap joints. Uh, so we're gonna be using the circular saw to cut little, thin pieces out, then I'm gonna hammer out the sections, and then we're gonna make our joints go together. So today's video, most of it is just going to be making joints and then gluing the pieces together afterwards. Uh, so that's the purpose of this. And again, elevating this rain barrel off the ground is important. Sometimes other things you can use, a lot of people use cinder blocks, work perfectly fine. But I like to, I know I had this uh, four by four beam sitting here. So I wanted to try to use that, but then I needed a little bit more based on my measurements I was making for my design. So I went and bought one more, even with the crazy wood prices now. And so we're gonna finish it with that piece and it should be pretty cool. Did I change lenses? No. What's wrong with the lens? Is it the lighting? 
Is it not full screen? I'm not super wide angle. I'm in 1080p normal. I mean, not wide, but like medium wide. Interesting. <laughs> All right, I know. I am using RTX voice today. All right, step one is to, I need my, my saw. Or do we want to use a hand saw today? Do we want to do hand saw life? We could do hand saw life. What's wrong with the lens? Now I'm, I'm wondering what's going on here. Oh. Also, I am not Ryan doesn't have to be a negative lol. What is this? Nothing wrong. You look like you lost some girth. I thank you, Mike. I have. I've actually um, lost a decent amount of girth. I wore a pair of jeans yesterday that I couldn't even button in January. So I have a nice pair of jeans that I really liked. And they were, well, they were actually the jeans that when I, I went to wear them once, because I like to wear jeans one day a week going back to work. And I went to put them on back in January since we were going back to face to face then. And they were way too tight. I was bulging and I could barely button them. If I buttoned them, I was about to bust the button. So I was like, okay, it's time to do something. And then boom. What's up, Rebecca? Yeah, you know, it's not a hand saw because you don't always get to use hand saws in life. I should plug all those in. If you have a power saw in the end, why use a hand saw? Work smarter, not harder. Whatever that saying is. Stops falling. I think for the hundred bits. Wait, oh, yeah. wait, why was Ryan being? I don't think Ryan was being negative. At least I didn't hear that. What was he saying? I was answering trivia. <laughs> we all had our Juniper switches shit on updates. I don't even know. You sometimes you guys don't speak English. This is an English only chat. So you all don't speak it. Dust extractor. POE firmware on four slots. Path of exile? Is that what you're talking about? So I'm going to move you all over to here. Um, just to be off to the side for safety. I do need to plug this in. Yeah, I didn't really set anything up before stream today. So thanks for uh, bearing with me for set up here all part of the fun. but yeah i don't like to wait for this because it's one more thing on your wrist and that's not something you want to have hey we are plugged in and uses <laughs> true i mean you're not wrong All right, let's make sure RTX is working. You ready, everyone, to see if RTX is working? How loud was that for you? Was that loud? We're going to be using a lot of saws today. Audio goes weird from time to time. Like now it goes weird, like there's interference with it. 
you could hear it, but like it wasn't RTX off bad, right? Okay, these ones I think so. I went to Home Depot to get the other plank, and they were already chopped. Where'd I put my tape measure? Over here. Yeah, before this all test. Interference sounding, weird. These aren't supposed to do that. Huh. I don't think it's RTX that's causing it. Yeah, so there's some sort of interference happening. Only for a second. Weird. I wonder if it's... I'll find out. I am recording natively on my Sony, so that'll tell me if it's audio interference or or what's happening there. So... Alrighty, first step here is to make our cuts. I have my uh, sliding compound miter saw here. Now I did, like I said, I did go buy a, you know, a post at Home Depot, but I got it cut there so it'd fit my car. So I already have two, these, these sections are going across the middle. So 31 inches across going each way. And then I'm gonna have four legs, 24 inches tall, um, 12 inches up, 12 inches down. So the a uh, rain barrel will be off the ground by 12 inches. And I already checked with my uh, water watering can. It'll fit under and get under the spigot just fine if we are 12 inches up. So again, four, four slices, four legs, 24 inches, and then two cross beams of 31 inches. And that should fit the 24 inch rain barrel just fine in the middle. All right, let's make the cuts. Was it doing it there? That's what, like I said, I'll find out how bad it is later. Let's actually measure these to make sure they are accurate. What's up, Andy? How you doing? So these are 31 and a quarter. I could cut these down to 31, but I'm okay having that extra little bit on each side. So 31, it was good. It was good. I'm good. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm doing great. Happy to be home. Happy to be back doing projects here. Life is good. I need to pull that out. There's a big brush fire down south today. They actually had to close down. I-95, so traffic is insane out and about today. Oops. This is working well. Yeah, traffic is pretty wild out there today. Does it get any better? It doesn't get much better than this. Nope. Doesn't get much better than this. All right, the guy at Home Depot did a good job cutting these. Thank you, Home Depot. So those are already done. I'll just lay those off to the side here. And now, so this is an eight foot board here. And each plank is 24 inches or two feet. But because we have some kerf on the blade, which is probably, what is, what is the blade kerf here? About an eighth of an inch. So three cuts, we'll lose three eighths of an inch total. Yeah. Treat for Watson, <gasps> nice. So I'll just do each one, what, 23 and seven eighths. And then they all should be the same size. Where'd I put my pencils? There we are. 
Oh, another treat. I don't have Watson out here yet. Um, but we'll get the treats for Watson then. Don't worry. We shall get them. So let's do one here. And then we'll cut the others uh, based on where this one is. We'll just put that right there and look like an official woodworker now. Where did I put my speed square? Ah, it's right here. Yeah, happy Friday, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great Friday. I've been waiting to get back into the shop. So thank you for being here to hang out. So make that cut um, and then use that piece to work our way down the log. Put speed square right here. We'll be coming back to this quite a bit. So right there is first cut. And because I'm gonna have a bit hanging off the end over here, I am going to use my little thing here and to hold it down because I don't think the tool bench is the same height. But I think, oh, because yeah, I have it raised up just a little bit. I might be able to get this to work. One second. Could probably use something over there. Can use another one of these. Actually, nah. Let's just do this the normal way here. That'll definitely help. Again, this is an outdoor thing. It's not going to be, you know, super nice indoor stuff. So it doesn't need to be beautiful, but you still want your projects to look relatively nice, you know? But I will use this little clamp thing to hold it down here as well. Just to help. Probably too much now. Yeah, that's how it typically goes. I want to cut right on the line right there. All right, we're good. How's the family? Did Mama and Mama Doc get the shot? I'm still working on convincing her, but I think she said she's gonna get it. So I think we're convincing her. All right, first cut. I'm gonna take a drink of water before this. <laughs> TX. There we go. Check it again. Nothing in the way. Just cut down. Oh, this was uh, sixteen dollars, fifteen twenty-seven, actually. Perfect. This does have a crack in it, uh, but it'll get the job done. It will get the job done. But yeah, it, aren't lumber prices insane?
$27 for a four by, what? Where are you from, Bacon? What's up, David Alexander? How goes it today? Oh, this is super convenient. So now I want to keep the left side Texas. Really? That's wild. So that's right down the middle of the line. Should be perfect. That's $27, a four by four by 10. This is a four by four by eight and I paid 16 for two more feet. It's wild. I don't know. Is that a Texas thing? Where stuff is that much more expensive? First week of new job has been, seems good. Good. That's awesome. You get to work from home still, right? So you, you can still watch Twitch. You don't have to sneak watch it. It'll fall now, but we'll still keep it safe. just move this up it's more of a hassle right now how did rtx work there it seems good okay so it's good good clamp her down oh um i don't know if that makes it i mean you buy a four by four by eight usually it's pressure treated i mean the one I bought's pressure treated. Is it from desert? Yeah, maybe harder to get lumber there. I guess that makes sense. Other than design, yeah, everyone's doing renovations. I just happened to buy a house during this time, so it's just a convenient time to do renovations. All right, next cut. I should pull the staple out of this one too. Come on, staple. I guess I can keep it on the top too. I have a better things to use to grab this. Only four by four I get is in and out. I don't even know what that is. What is that? I've never had in and out. I heard they're just overhyped and Californians pretend they like it because it makes them feel Californian and cool, but it's like, it actually isn't that good. Like, I mean, we all have the things like I'm team sheets. I know when I'm eating sheets late at night, it's not actually that good, but um, I still think it's better than any other alternatives. Okay, this one got a little bit longer. So I'm gonna take a sliver off this one, actually, unless the floor is not even. So we'll, I'll get all four and then uh, cut them to size after that. What, In-N-Out is legit? Or like the idea that Californians think In-N-Out is legit because it's a Californian thing to be proud of. Four burgers and four slices of cheese. Does it come with the doctor's visit for your atherosclerotic plaques that you'll be making? What's up, Copper? How you doing? You eat more fast food? No. That's why do you think I lost weight? It's because I stopped eating as much fast food. <laughs> But it's not like the best thing I've ever. Yeah, except some. I mean, some Californians are like, it's the best thing in the world. How dare you? 
ever speak ill of it. You know, that's what I mean. And everyone's like that about, you know, things they care a lot about. Del Taco. Ooh. Need to bring back Dino Nugs. I don't know. I had a pulled pork sandwich for lunch. So that was a lot. Put it coleslaw on it. It was on like garlic, butter, garlic bread. It's pretty intense. Right? Wait, we're getting a Del Taco? Ooh. Smoker. Do you have a... Psycho One built his own uh, filing cabinet smoker. It's pretty cool. All right, is there a lady? All right, have our four pieces. Now let's get them all the same height. So I'll have to trim some here and there, I'm sure. So we'll find the shortest one and bring it all down to that. So this doesn't need to be super accurate, but it is good to have similar length. It looks like this one, well, let's do it like this. I got to make sure there's nothing behind it. This one's a little bent because of that. There's a, a notch in it. Like this. Stacking them here would be a tad easier just because that bottom isn't actually that good. Definitely be an easier way to do this. I'm using the floor. Okay. And then. No, I have one on my cart over here. Greetings, Zoiku. Inexpensive electric one that works wonders. I, we grew up with uh, one of those electric ones with like the water thing in the bottom. Yeah, they get the job done. So this one needs a sliver off. And this one needs a sliver off. For some reason, those the two ends got a little longer. The rest are pretty okay. Like I said, it'll sit level. I'm not too concerned about that. So that one feels okay. okay. Compared to this one, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to take a very, very little bit off here. So not much at all. Sliver is an actual, yeah, of course a sliver is a real measurement. Equal to roughly three millimeters. Sounds about right. Poop. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of poop. All 
All right, we're done chopping there. That's a lot of poop. Oh, look at this grain. We got the center of the tree. We got the heartwood. Look at this. We got the heartwood right there. Freak for Watson. All right, I think that's three so far before we bring him out here. Okay, good start, good start. You got one, yes, and there's four. I gotta make him fat. At least it's not treats for me. Okay, I'm gonna unplug all of this. We're gonna give it a quick little uh, blow here. Then we shall put it away. I just like to blow it off before. And... All right, I shall put this back on the shelf where it belongs. Guys, I need my table. You need a bigger table. Well, remember when I was going to build multiple ones of these? I just haven't gotten to it yet. Haven't gotten to it yet. Oh, did you all see the big Twitch news today? I tweeted about it. I posted it in my Discord. I think I saw my phone going off about tweets. Yeah. So when I do beach metal detecting now, do I stream in pools, hot tub, and beaches? <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to read it. Um, yeah, there's a, a new category called pools, hot tubs, and beaches, which is great, but they added the beaches part. And I'm like, well, I stream metal detecting at the beach, and people might be, you know, as you've all seen my beach streams, people could be in bikinis at the beach. I'm not, but I'm now, technically, I could be in my Speedo, so... Like, does the activity, I guess if um, the streamer is wearing the swimwear, then that's where it matters. I hope, I hope that's how the rules are taken for that. At least I hope so. Okay, now we need to do some measurements. 
Yo, use a circular saw, bro. DJ Beats, no way. How'd you know? Oh, bro. You knew I was going to use a circular saw. Okay. So, I guess we could cut these middle ones first. Get the measurements done. But 80 in Florida. Captain Jack, check weather. The setting is not the topic. Yeah, yeah, that's how I figure I look at it. But it's still funny. I still think it's a fun joke. Wait, maybe I, did I start voice attack? I don't know if I have voice attack set up right. Captain Jack, check weather. Am I in my chat? I hope I'm in my chat. I might be saying that in someone else's chat. Meh. Let me go run and check my PC. I'm home so I can check it. Fred. Captain Jack, check weather. Now it worked. Why didn't it work? We are. Everything looking good over here. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Only 18 mile an hour winds. Yeah, I know, right? It is windy. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to make a measurement wherever I put my measuring device right here. 12 inches up on these. Alrighty, now, since I have all the boards cut to size, we're going to measure out where I'm going to make all of these uh, cross cuts with the circular saw, and they're going to be, you know, half a board length uh, in depth. So these ones, we're going to, these slats are going to be going across halfway up, and then also crossing in the middle. So we're going to have a cut in over here for a half lap, a cut in over here, and then one in the middle for where they come together in the middle in a cross pattern, just like that. So, but these ones are the legs going up and I want these crosses to be 12 inches up. So the base is going to be 12 inches. Scoreboard, right? Or do I need to subtract? So if I want, so this is gonna be the bottom of this. So I'm measuring where the top frame goes so that we have 12 inches above it. Pizza, thank you for subbing pizza. Thank you, pizza. I was gonna go birding today, but the area I was gonna go to had a wildfire at it which is not a great thing. I don't know if you saw that post in the Discord about that. So unfortunately, we're gonna be cutting through a knot here. Prefer that to not be a thing, but I think it's gonna be a thing. I guess I could rotate it and miss it on this side. Yeah, about two and a half inches down. I'm going to rotate this one 
tried to avoid that knot. What just happened? Why y'all? Why y'all doing that? Why y'all doing this? Mike, now that pulls hot tub and beaches as a category, is that where metal detecting streams? Of course, because now I get to wear my speedo while metal detecting. You didn't have to pay a dollar to say that. The not to not. Yeah, I prefer the not to not to not be there. Let's do this one. So that's the top. Now we can bring this all the way over. So now the thing about this is that it doesn't really matter as much. Wunderbar. Okay, so now we need this, you know, mortise, not going to be a mortise, um, but this dado cut out of this to be the length of one of these. But not the length, the width, because this will, is going to sit in there like that, and then we're going to do another cut right here for it to slide down in. So we have a lot of these cuts to do today. So this thickness here is, of course, three and a half inches. If you didn't know, a four by four is actually three and a half. Making a squirm with it. You do make me squirm. That's, oh, leaves are blowing in. Up your mod game? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Moderators, do you want stuff to do? You can get stuff to do then. No, I don't want to. I don't. I, I don't feel like that's that's accurate there. Now, I don't like that as my measuring device. Let's use the old school one. Clamp them together and cut them out. That's. Why I'd stream this, because I have geniuses here. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a roller like this? These are awesome. Everyone likes a good half lap joint, I know, right? I can part time mod, but I don't know. See, I don't like when people think modding is a full time job. A streamer never really expects that from their moderators unless they're going to pay them. I never expect any mod to actually be here. Modding for me is more of a, hey, I trust you to make decisions here, but that doesn't mean I don't trust you if you're not a mod right now. Don't take it that way, because I know, like, Mike, you're mod in a lot of places. Well, Caitlin and Pez, and you take that very seriously, and I know you like to think you are at streams more often because of that, and I don't want to make you think you got to be here. To keep us all in check. You know what I could have done? Could have just done this. Mm. 
Yeah. We'll check it as we go. Put in. Oh, and Cell and Dale and a booby and a wait and a booby stream. <laughs> I'm the opposite. You don't want me to be here. Fans of TMB. I know, right? And I feel like once I open the floodgates of modding someone from Caitlin's community, then it's just the floodgates are open. If you notice, I don't think, I, well, Sarah, I brought Sarah to Twitch, uh, but you notice no one else from Caitlin's community is a mod here because, yeah, I don't want to make it feel like I'm choosing one of you. So yeah, I could cut these together, couldn't I? No! Will it fit? Yeah, it's just too wound right now. Just make us all VIP. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough VIP slots. No, it won't fit. Dang. So close. So close. <laughs> Type two short story of your life. I don't think this one will work either. Do I really have to use my new massive one? Yeah, these ones are same. Put. Really, do I got to use the massive pipe? It's like it's like an eight foot long pipe clamp. Fancy screen in garages. I know I don't have a screen on my garage. It's weird, right? Promise, I don't want the middle ones to move. I mean, I guess I could clamp each one down individually. But let's see, let's get the um, circular saw. No battery in it yet. I can do all the cuts right here like this, and then well, I probably I want to work this way and go up. So I'll be going across like that. Yeah, I like I like that motion right there compared to on the edge here. We're going this direction. Yeah, so we're going to be going this way all the way down through. I'm just going to clamp each one. Hello, Caitlin. You know her IRL? No, she actually found me through my blood typing YouTube video, of all things. She found me via YouTube. She's like the only person that's come to my channel via YouTube. Wait, and pumped up? What are you pumped up about? Did I miss something? Oh, I have a table saw. I mean, I could technically use the table saw. I mean, I have a dado blade for my table saw too, but I haven't used it. And the problem is I don't want the first time I use something to be on stream. We are making lots of cuts. Because I have a dado blade with inserts I could put in it right here. Question is, can it go? Sticking this on this dado blade. Two, yeah would just fit 
it's not, it's too big of a dado. I don't want to make a dado cut that thick. Yeah, but that, that is, yeah, it's a, it's a two inch thickness. So it could technically like a two inches from there to there. So it could technically work, but I don't want to go through the setup. You can't mod anyone from you because we are well nutty. No, I just don't want to choose one of you. Too much pressure. Let's make them look. Wait, what does that one look? That one's backwards. Wait, replies are supposed to be, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're all on about today. Oh. Because all of V3 is nutty. I mean, well, aren't you? Why do you think we all get along so well? While well, doing some hand labor, a little bit. You might even, I do. Of course I do, but no affiliation with the channel, of course. You know the movie I'm in the mood to watch? Popped up on my YouTube recently, recommended. Uh, Edge of Tomorrow. Hold on, I am getting a phone call that I should answer. One second. And we're back. I'm in a good mood. Ignore it. Whoa. Took Monday off. It's Caitlin. Oh, is it rant day? Caitlin, what are we ranting about tonight? Quality streamers ignore their chat. <laughs> okay, I'll start ignoring you guys. Reminds me of the days of uh, sixth, seventh class. Also, one tip woodworking is so fun. I love this. I love this. This should be okay. I'll just hold, hold down here and then one hand it. Probably as I want to start down here, so I keep a base going across. 
I don't super like that though, so I'm gonna clamp that end one down. More clamps! More clamps! Hmm. Well, isn't every stream that Caitlin does end up being like a rant though? I don't think this clamp's gonna work. Well, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I don't have many options after this. No. Dang. The sizing, I'm just off by just a, a hair today on everything. There we go. That'll keep everything together. And that one will stay down, but that one's important there. But today, went to the beach this morning, feeling nice and chill. Caitlin, now when you go stream at the beach, you have a category to stream in. Same with me when I go metal detecting. Isn't that great? I'm going to clamp that one down, too, now that I know I can. Of course I'm wearing Stasis. Oh yeah, are you allowed to bring Sassy to the beach there? Perfect. So I can cut all these at once because it doesn't necessarily matter the angle. Let me think about that through first before I want to say it out loud. So if all these have a slat out, this one, once it's cut, can go face that way. Another one can face another way. It doesn't, direction doesn't matter then. I could eat danger for breakfast. Inventor of W40, you caught me. You caught me. Now, I'm going to bring the camera a tad closer here so you all can watch a little better. Might move it up so you guys don't aren't getting like a crop shot the whole time. I'll check to see what this looks like. Perfect. Opening mod position. Who's opening a mod position, Kate? So it cuts on the zero line. I'm gonna do on the inside there, play it safe at the start. I need a battery in this. Silver, oh, there's a trivia question. I'm gonna be doing a lot of cuts, so I think I'm just gonna use the four amp hour battery to start today. Alrighty, like I said, I'm going to be using the uh, circular saw here to make this cut. And before I start this cut, I need to measure down half the thickness of my other boards. I'm gonna cut these all at the same time. Um, so the depth's going to be half the cut. So we have three and a half inches. Three and a half divided by two, 1.75 inches down. So I need to set the gauge on this to 1.75 inches, and then I'm gonna start this cut going across. You, you read it out of context, Clayton doing a beach streaming requires, oh, extra mods, oh, okay. I thought Mike was getting in trouble for something. Just assumed. Let's see, this does have a little gauge on the side. See if I can set it properly. So that should be 1.75 down. Of 
Wait, Neuro's here? What's up, Neuro? How you doing? So that looks about halfway. Let me check over here. Let me actually draw halfway down on one of these boards. I've always been here. I lurk. I lurk. I do know you lurk 24 seven. I know who my Chatterino people are. I can see you. Do you lurk via Chatterino? I lurk via Chatterino. So now this isn't going to be perfect because it's a little over 3.5 inches. So, let's draw our crisscross and find the center. Hello, Sarah. Oh yeah, isn't Chatterino great? Yeah, Chatterino's great. Just finding uh, center of this board right here. To get the actual distance down that we need this blade to be. Yeah, because it's a little over 175 right there. So we need it a little more than that. So it needs to be right to there. Actually, I can just use that to the saw down. So let's adjust this just a little bit more. Probably like right there, actually. See how this looks. That looks perfect. So uh, what I did to adjust the thickness to get half the boards, I drew an X in the middle of this board and then I brought the blade halfway down. Since these boards are, these four by fours are a little over three and a half inches. So one and three quarters inches isn't an exact halfway mark. So I just brought it down and I brought the tip of the curve of the blade to the center of that point. How's your trip going, Sarah? Everywhere? Are you the monster that... Yep, I am. I am a monster. For all these science people are introduced nervous community to... <laughs> Wait, to your B facts? Since when do you give out B facts? Wish I was a smart one? Will you hang out here enough? You should be a little smarter by now. You do a lot. Come on. How many times do I ask you questions on things? So like I said, I'm gonna start over here, work my way going that way. Because I want this to keep a stable side all the way across. This is gonna get messy. You just steal all my notes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're super stealth about it, yeah. Don't sell yourself short. All right, I'm gonna do these cuts. Everyone be good in chat, please. Looks good. Now we only have to do that 20 more times. So I'm not cutting super straight. I should cut that one up there too, just to get it set, but we'll see.
Yeah, that one already chipped out for me. Nice. I want to put my earbuds in. That's kind of loud. <coughs> and I'm going to throw. I'm making a lot of dust. Throw my respirator on. Neuro, don't judge me. but it is getting dusty. None 95. <laughs> it's gonna fall along because doctor office, hubby surgery Thursday. Oh, they're bringing it back in Thursday for the pinky. I hope it all goes well. I'm glad I'm wearing this because it's definitely making some dust particles. Getting close to that line now. Getting covered in sparkles. Sound on the street, I know, right? Yeah, look at all the sawdust. Okay, just a couple more cuts and I should be able to chisel this out then. And get see if we can get a fit here. Okay, now this one I need to be accurate on. Ooh, I can smell the pine, it's so nice. So I need to get all up in it.
Oh, there's a line that was confusing me. So many sparkles everywhere. So that one's not perfect. We might have to take another sliver there. Krebs cycle. You don't really want to remember Krebs cycle again. Why not? Krebs cycle's beautiful. Yeah, this one's not super straight. But I'll see what happens once I try to fit a board in there. So. <laughs> Let's shake that out, put it off to the side for the time being. Now comes the fun part. Let's see how we try out. Aha. Look at all these chips. So throw them into. So many chips. Why do I have a funnel in here? This goes over here. That's so satisfying, breaking all those out, by the way. Super satisfying. Bunch of mini coasters. DB, thanks for the follow. I can remove this temporarily. Whoops. Um pounding things out here. We are making lots of sawdust today. That is for sure. Some of these are better than others. Should probably start on this end here and work my way down. About $50 in wood chips. Isn't it stupid how expensive these sorts of things are now? Okay, we're just, chips are flying. That's just how this is going to be. Let me get that one out. Uh, now I can see it better. Got to start working smarter here. 
Pace over lunch, and as I'm driving, my left arm starts to get tingly, and I legit had to convince my friend that it. because you had pizza. Okay, girl. All because you had a slice of pizza. Only you, K girl. But did you have a pizza for breakfast? That's the real question. The difference is two slices. Now, that's one chopped out. Let's just see it here. So again, I didn't have it. I haven't chucked out, cut out the cross lap there yet. So just like I thought, that is a tight, perfect fit. Too tight. Ugh. And the rest are okay as well. Some of them are a little loose. That last one's the tightest, but I am happy with that. Now, because these have rounded edges, it's not going to be perfectly flush and beautiful, but, you know, not everything gets to be perfectly flush and beautiful. That, my friends, is why we wear eye protection. Did you see that? Right in the eyeball. I don't mean to make safety demonstrations of when things are going to go bad, but it's part of the process. <laughs> How much sodium is that? Are you trying to ruin her pizza happiness, Neuro? this. I'm going to have chips everywhere. Thankfully, this is a wood shop garage. This one was a lot worse. Oh yeah, sorry for not streaming for a week, everyone. I started semester and yeah, summer semester is busy. I'm back to teaching, so I was also taking it easy on my voice for the week. But, so we're back to teaching in person. So thanks for understanding. And no streams this week. I know some of you were probably really mad and were revolting against me. Hopefully you went in and um, undid your uh, subscriptions automatically from renewing. I've warned you not to automatically renew your subscription around here because I can randomly stop streaming for a week when life gets busy, or you only get driving streams.
this writing stream's got a weird amount of views, though. You guys are weird, you know that? Like, why so many of you? The worst thing you can do is eat raw food. What are you talking about? Why? What are you? What are you talking about, K okay, girl? I love raw carrots. Don't you love eating raw carrots? And I love raw broccoli too. I guess I prefer most of my vegetables raw. Too deep on that one. We'll just hide it. No one will know. What you doing, Doc? Uh, making a rain barrel platform. The rain barrel I got from the Marine Resources Council, I need to elevate it off the ground. So I'm just making some joinery here to put it all together. So most of this project is cutting out the joinery. I could probably figure out a way to do this and just pocket hole things and screw it all together, but I like things to look nice and have some nice joints to them, you know? So we're taking a little step forward and spending the time to cut out these nice joints here. How are you doing today, Tropical? Why are we putting a thick post in the middle? Gross, raw broccoli tastes like bitter. What? Raw broccoli is delicious. What do you mean a post in the middle? You probably, you just might not see the design yet. Oh, good doc, took a nap. Nice. This is gonna be a big cleanup afterwards. Oh yeah, did you all see the um, the post I had about that wildfire? Those are where the red cockaded woodpeckers live. That's kind of sad. I hope it doesn't jump over and uh, affect them in their the region the region where they are in that little sanctuary. Eh, come on. Oh, there's a knot in here, that's why. Not done yet. No, I work very slowly. I talk to chat. We hang out. We have fun together. Make fun of K-Girl. You know, typical stream. That was a smart idea, clamping them together like this, though. I just needed a slightly bigger clamp. Yeah, there's a big knot right here. And somehow, yeah. Oh, network cable pops, no. Critical red cockpit habitat as long as it's uh, fast moving little risk. I don't know what kind of fire. It is a wildfire and not a controlled burn now. So they do the controlled burns. I think the southeast version of this state park is more scrub jay habitat. So just as long as those old 70-year-old pines stay, then they're okay. There's the last treat for Watson. Ooh, a new kind of woodpecker. Oh, the driving time lapse. I'm going. I, I did a time lapse of the whole drive back. 
Um, so I just cut out the BRB screen and then sped it up to some music. That's going to uh, go live Saturday morning. So. On the YouTube channel. It's kind of neat. Nothing special. Uh, but I did piece together the video. All 17 hours. I think it ended up being like minus stopping and all the BRB, like 14 hours of footage, maybe. Still isn't bad when you consider that dry. When bees pollinate your queen, you can hear the Jim Taylor call. Thanks, K girl. Thanks for the scientific tidbit. Appreciate it, like always. This is why we wear eye protection right now. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Dude, this teaches us how to save the bees. 14 hours, three minutes. I made it into three minutes. I just wanted to do one song. Look at that. We got four done already. How crazy is that? Now, the problem is... I don't want these larger chips. So I know I could vacuum all this up, but I'm just going to sweep them directly into my bucket here. <laughs> the larger chips clog things. Yeah, I know, right? So what I did was I just posterized the time. I just did one frame per second, and then I just sped that up. It's not too nauseating. But if you do get motion sickness, I wouldn't watch it. I did change the camera angle once, so it does make one movement. But other than that, it's not too bad. kind of just did it because I had the video footage. It's not like it's anything special or anything like that. Scientists are dedicated to saving the bee population like that. Nice. Well, thank you, scientists, for studying bee sex. Oh, stay hydrated. Thank you. Drink is over here. I'm almost out of it, too. What is it? It's pleasant right now. Really pleasant. All righty. A lot of sawdust out here, so I don't want to bring Watson out here right now. All right, let's undo this. Well, there we go. We have our little cross joints done. I'll clean them up when I start. Little piece there again, not beautiful, uh, but I'll clean them up once we get a fit. Um, but they're a good rough job right now. Nothing too bad. 
And so what these are going to do, these are the sides. So one's going to go there. One's going to go like that. I still have to figure out. Yeah, let's lay this out roughly now. It's because you want them on opposite sides. So the one that's going to go in the middle, one's going to go there. One's going to lock into there. And then this one's going to go like this. And that one's going to go like that. So now when I cut this board, so let's say this board's in the middle here, I cut out this section here so it fits in there like a puzzle piece, and then I cut out this, this section here so it fits in here, and then I'll cut the middle piece. Um, now I can cut both ends at the same time, then I can cut the middles at the same time. I just have to make sure I label them properly. So let's do that now. So let's make this uh, the bottom support panel. So we're going to cut out the middle here. So, but it's going to be the underside. So I don't really want to call it the bottom. Um, no, I'll call it the bottom. I'll, I'll know. So, all right. Oh, this board is still kind of moist too. Uh, so bottom. So the middle section, I haven't measured it out yet, but I'm just going to draw remove right there. So if this is sitting in here like this, we're going to cut this part out. And then over here, we're going to cut out the part that will go right there. So this one will be cut out right there, whereas the opposite will be cut out on this side over here. So if I turn it to the side, I know to cut that side. And then I know to cut that side. So just marking it out here. And then the other one is going to go, we can move this to the side now, going to go in here. So this one, say this is the, like that. Let's say this is the top of the piece here. So if this is the top of the piece, um, we need to cut out the bottom then. So this is, we'll see that in the middle. Uh, so here we cut out the bottom. And then, so that goes down into the cross lap there. Over here, we cut out the left side. Then over here, we cut out uh, this side over here. Boom. And now we'll do the two ends and then I could rotate it since now I know where to cut them. So we'll do the two ends and then we'll do the middle. So we have three sets of clamping and cutting to do. I might be able to do the two ends at the same time. We'll see. Let's see if we remember how that goes by the end. So was anyone completely lost right there? Let's turn this off a little better. Everyone completely understand what I was on about? Yes. Yes, you completely understood. See, I asked both forms of the question. Good place for a prediction of a miscut. No, we're not going to do any miscuts. Shh, pizza. Bad pizza.
That is the way doors were locked. Man, something locked our doors really well using cross slap joints. So this goes down into that. I like it. But we can use this as our marker for how wide we need to make the cut. Let's that's perfect. So boom. Yeah, this is actually why would I do it where the knot is? That's not a smart idea. Hey, get it? That's not a smart idea. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so funny. I don't like it because it has a bend in it. Yeah, it's not a nice piece of wood. I need to remove, make sure this is the same all the way up. Not your not, not your not, where's not prof? We need not prof here, we're talking about knots. That's often not enough. Okay, right, yeah, so that, not like that. Yeah, that doesn't seem right, even though that's what I measured. This one's actually less than three and a half. So my boards aren't the same. This is like three and three eighths, actually. Yeah, so that would be good. This one needs to be a little higher. Let's redraw this. Okay, that is good. We and three eighths is right there. Wet one's hard to draw on. Yep, this board is definitely um, longer than the other. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but it'll get the job done. Measure twice, cut once. Cut once, measure once. You cut once, then you measure it, right? So if that's three and three eighths, they're not going to be super clean joints. So if I cut half of this off, meh, it might not be flush. We'll see how close it is after doing one set here. Because I cut it half for this one, but it was more than half cut into this one. So I need, so no matter what, if I cut this one down, it'll be fine. It'll work because 
I'll be cutting the same thickness out here that I cut out there, so I don't want to adjust that. Thank you for uh, coming to my TED Talk, as I thought out loud. So we'll be okay there. Let's move these off to the side. By the way, how was the sound level when I was using the saw last time? Good enough, nobody's gonna notice. I know, right? Mm. Yeah, it's a, it holds a water barrel. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. Really, it was that bad. So this one, I need to start the outside and work my way in because if I start here, no, I'll still have my base. I, I, well, I want to do this cut first so that I can be square and accurate and it'll be okay. All right, so we're going to cut the ends now. Here we go. So we're going to cut each end, cut the middle, and then we'll be close to being done. I want it to be right there on it. Everything's good and ready. Nope. We're not good and ready. I would have realized this the first cut. This one is moist. I'm gonna do another one there.
There we go. Another cut down. Some of those are a little thicker. I feel like the Santa's taking this mask off right now. Oh, I should put my bucket underneath. Oh, look at that. We cut right through the heart. Dust to the side. Not trip off. But yeah, that one was really wet. A little moist there. <sighs> Everyone being good. I'm covered in dust. Just got pissed because coworker keeps freaking things I did up. Oh, no. Dang coworker. music. Do you guys hear the music outside? I hope not. I hear reggae. Yeah, this is pretty moist in there. Are we in TTS? No, I look over and read every now and then. No tropical in my ear today. I have ear protection in instead. No, no TTS. I guess I could put a clamp there for this. Hmm. That's smart. Work smarter, not harder. Hit that knot right out. That'll be fine. We need to get back out to the beach and do some metal detecting, except we've had like 30 mile an hour wind gusts the past three days. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't been out. The winds are just too bad for streaming. But I had this project on my mind, so I'm happy I can focus on it for a bit. So if you are here enjoying this, the ASMR hammer pounding, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me and all that fun stuff. We'll be back to the normal stuff here soon. So, Missy.
the weather cooperates. We'll be back to doing some EDU streams next week. If you see some on the YouTube, there have been some genetics videos posted that I have not covered on stream. When is it strong winds are good uh, for loot? It's blown, if you look at pictures of the beach down here, it's blown up so much sargassum that it's just gonna be filled with foil. So beach metal detecting might not be much fun coming up, but it could blow in some loot, that's for sure. We'll see, we'll see. In theory, yes. But in reality, you don't know until we get out there and start beeping. Have a project on your mind? Had a project on my mind. <laughs> You know, I'm the type that once I get a project idea going in my head, I have to get to it. And this was one of those projects because the rain barrel is not full right now, so I can lift it up <laughs> once this is done. And I don't want to dump out a full rain barrel just to put it on this once I get this done eventually. So we're here, we're doing this. Cost wise, I spent $16. Of course, that doesn't include tools. That's just the mats. Is it normal to say mats? We're on Twitch, so that's fine, right? Yoru, what's up? What is this rain you speak of? We actually got some when I wasn't here and the rain barrel was three quarters full, but I haven't, it hasn't rained since I've been home. No rain since I've been back. Let's see how this fit is then. Oh, that'll be nice. That should jam right down in there then. So like I said, it's not gonna give us a clean flush look because this, this piece is rounded and this one isn't, but that's what we're going for. Yeah, it's not in there perfect, but we'll fix it up once we put it all the way in. So once we get it all the way, it should be okay. Let me check. That's it here. Got to pound it like this. So yeah, it might stick out a little bit here. But yeah, it'll get the job done. <laughs> I don't know if I put the correct one in. So let's hit this out now. anything I might need to do another cut on that piece because this was pretty tight so I'm I'll check the fitness of everything later I think so that one fits perfect so it's just that one was really tight for it for some reason Really, really tight. Bop. Extreme drought and started restrictions? No. Droughts out there are scary because of wildfires. I 
All right, next one done. Now, let's do the middle. Yeah, the wet one will have it, and it, yeah, it will, definitely. So I'm removing that, and I'm removing that. So, 31. That, yeah, so I can clamp it. We'll make it work. So this is 31 and a quarter. So I need 15 and three quarters is the exact middle. Correct. Double check that right here. Yeah. So that's the exact middle. Let me draw out the middle line here. All right. Good night, Pookie. So Copper, if you want to make one of these, all you have to do is, why aren't those the same? You can just uh, elevate it on cinder blocks as well. I think I drew this one. I drew that one at 15 and a half. Was I drunk? Yeah, you don't have to make a structure like this to do it. All right. So there's the middle. And now if our board is Three and five eighths. What's three and five eighths divided by two? Oh, I hate that fractional division. So one, uh, one point sixteen. Wait, why am I even doing that? I could just use the board that's here. <laughs> you go like that. I just need the distance. And I could just draw it right here. Well, I kind of want one line going across the bottom. 1.8125. Yeah, it's not a nice number, is it? So, one in thirteen sixteenths. Don't like using that, it's not clear enough. Oh, 
one. I don't like to use that one either. 13, right there. Thank you, chat, for helping. Perfect. I'd be nothing without all of you. There we go. Oh, leftover four by four from building your rate. Okay, that could work then. I ended up using, uh, I, what I have, 32 inches left over from 16 feet. What's up, bacon? Did my 40 minute message go? Looks like I was popping in and out of check. What do you mean? What's your 40 minute message? From building your bird feeding station? Um, so these are, some of these were still left over from the previous owners. Uh, I should have took a sip of water before doing this, but eh, here we are. I do have a lot of wood. That is correct. Why did I just try to blow my watch off? A ghost, what happened? Four image you're using tool on those beams. Really? That was a weird RTMP. Let's do a refresh. Yeah, that was a weird issue. That's not supposed to do that. Sometimes it does like these weird artifacts. 
Oh, wow, this is already down to two battery levels. I'm going to have to pop this on the charger. We'll see how we get through this one here. So I'm going to do the top and bottom lines first. All right, everyone ready? Here we go. That was not happy at the start. I don't know why, but we shall continue now. Yeah, I'm going to do another cut on this top one. Making some sawdust today. I want to see if it's a battery issue. All right, I'm going to take the line now. And then let's do one in the middle. I'm going to throw the big battery on the charger. Oh, I'm covered in sawdust.
charge. Oh, did I unplug that? Crap. There we go. That one's charging. I'm going to throw this on there too. Doesn't. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it saw was really bogging down through this wet, this wet two by four. That's for sure. Hmm, it smells so good out here. Anyone else love the smell of sawdust? Or am I just weird? I mean, I am weird, but there's something calming about the smell of a wood shop. You love the burnt smell. It's not necessarily the burnt smell. It's the smell of the wood that I love. It's like, I don't think I'm burning anything. What's up, monkey? This one is not healthy. Why doesn't? Why is it not healthy? Who doesn't love wood? Exactly. Who doesn't love wood? I don't think breathing any sawdust is necessarily healthy for you. That's why I'm wearing my respirator when doing these cuts. One, because I'm in my garage and I don't want to be hacking up a lung the whole time. Is the mic still doing uh, weird issues when I'm talking normally? I don't know if it's RTX or just microphone interference. That was really, oh, that's why there was a knot in the middle of this. So this board was so wet. Burnt wood. Impregnated? I mean, what? It's pressure treated. Probably. Isn't this satisfying? You ready? It's like Christmas. What are you doing to this boy? So, need to clean this one up a bit. So first try, you, what's the over under? We could do a prediction. Are there any mods? Will it fit, yes or no? So will this piece fit into that piece as a proper cross lap? Mm. 
Really? Wood pulp in our cheese. No way. That's why I only buy um, fake cheese, American cheese. I don't buy that fancy deli cheese. I almost just went, it works. Well, I mean, I buy, I don't actually eat that often. If I have it, I'll put it on a sandwich, but. There's a reason why they call them craft sing singles, because they keep you single. You need to have good cheese. Actually, that's not a saying at all. Shouldn't impress a significant other with your cheese. You should be cheesy and impress them with that cheese. And they should accept you if you eat the pasteurized American cheese. That's what I was trying to say. Sometimes I just ramble and I have no idea which direction it's going to go. Anyone who watched any part of the driving trip? If you watch any of my streams, you know that to be the case. I should have come over for all. Oh, so, so, so sorry. I, I couldn't make it all the way to Connecticut for your fancy grilled pizza. Yeah, you got to start out very, very, like, low quality so that whenever you do anything really good, then it's impressive. You can't like, wow, raise the start because then from there on, you're only a disappointment. You gotta begin and be accepted as the disappointment. Then everything else is just, no way. Again. I'm single. I would not take any dating advice from me. Bring cheese to the potential mate to impress. I have brought you a cheese tray. Are you impressed? Okay. Will it fit? What do you all think? You didn't marry, uh, I mean, I guess I'm pretty much married to chat now. I hang out with you all the most. Are we married now? Okay, if you're in chat now, here we go. Chat, will you be my waffly wuffed, whatever the saying is, significant other? Till I decide to quit streaming someday. Please say I do. If you do. I uh, measured, uh, not at all. Scam, one, prenup. Okay, Yuru, Yuru, I'm, we're, it's just us. Y'all already want prenups? I refund every single sub you've ever given me. <laughs> I might. Okay, so 
I'm not marrying all 20 of you then. So only a couple of you. Okay, you all ready? Are we ready for the fit? Will, do, do, do we have a prediction of will it fit? Did anyone ever start a prediction? I don't know how predictions start, really. But these days it's uh, copper salts. Oh, no one started a prediction. All right, oh well. Sorry. Slacking mods. Just to piss everyone off. Hey, uh, Mike, can you make a prediction, please? <laughs> can you make a prediction, please, Mike? Nope. Wow. Fine. Fine. Should I do it? Should we see if it fits or should I start measuring out the other side? He's gonna do it, I know. He'll feel guilty if he doesn't do it. I only gave it to him because I knew he didn't want it. What else can I do? I don't know. I don't ever, Android doesn't show if anything was made. Should I unmod him now? Should we? Up one. I don't know what that means. I need a drink. Oh, look at that. Oh, you've, you're a nod. Why are there so many regulars? Anyone want VIP? Some of you here deserve VIP. I haven't actually like edited VIPs in ages. I always forget about VIPs. A lot of you are actually deserving of VIP. So don't feel bad if you don't have it. I just forget to give it. Okay, here we go. Like a glove. Perfect. Not much wobble once you screw that down. That's gonna be beautiful. You can clean the insides up a bit. So take that if you voted no. Green herring, I think you were my last person I gave VIP to. That doesn't love us. Yeah, I gave you VIP for your bird knowledge, but that was also before pizza was here giving all the bird knowledge. So now like, I want to give uh, VIP to pizza as well. Like I said, I want to give everyone VIP. Because, like, I wanted you to, like, people who, like, identify the birds. That's why, that's, like, one of the big reasons I gave you VIP then was because, like, I want you to be taken more seriously when you say, it's probably this bird. Yeah. 
Yeah. You do realize you went before it ended. Oh, I don't see anything. And give it the pizza. Don't. It's not saying your value of bird knowledge isn't as good as pizza's. It doesn't say that. Pizza's just another member who's really good at identifying for me. Raid? Mindicorn Raid? What's up, Mindicorn? Playing with wood today. Were you doing other stuff today? What's up, everyone? We're building a rain barrel base. And pretty much everything today is cross cuts. And we're making little Looks like it's a little high up on this side over here. And looks like there could be some notches in there we can tear out. But Mindicorn, thank you for that raid. Hope you had a great stream. Welcome to the fun over here. Probably know a lot of you. If not, I am Dr. W40. Uh, I'm not always doing workshop maker crafter type streams like this. Uh, we do nature photography, the walking around doing outdoor IRL, looking at wildlife and whatnot. Uh, beach metal detecting, which we now have the hot tubs, pools, and beaches category. So we can stream in there when we do our beach metal detecting. So thank you, Twitch, for that. Been waiting to have an appropriate category for metal detecting for a very long time now. Just maybe someday, you think we'll get an educational category? Oh, that's what we need to do. We need to start some really, really big educational Twitch drama. And then they'll give us a category. That's apparently how it works. So, Mindicorn, I don't like you. There, is that how drama works? So now we have drama. Someone posts that to LSF. And then... I think that's how we get a category. <laughs> Does not mean we're going to get a geology or immunology hot tub. <laughs> oh, David Alexander, you gifted us up the minicorn. David Alexander. <laughs> Vicious internet persuasion. You're doing leather today. I can make up better fake bird names than green herring. You heard it here. We all know they're fake, but very accurately fake. Probably should cut that out of the time lapse. <laughs> I'll cut all that out. Time lapse don't include the audio typically. Boom. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice fit right there. I don't know why I went Australian. Okay, now we need to cut this side. I drew, cut that, and we cut that right there. If it's wrong, oops. Educational drama create. Yeah, how dare you say that one thing about that one person? You think, what about Rocket Sage? Mindicorn. Yeah, I don't know how drama works. I usually avoid it as much as possible. It's hard to completely avoid uh, drama in life, but you try your best. Twitch has a category for, no, we don't have an EDU category. We want an EDU category. No, Mindicorn, you can't be subbed to the person I'm trying to give you drama with. Uh, it's not how it works. See, this is why it'll never work. We'll never get the drama. We'll have to get our category the old-fashioned way. By waiting patiently and trying to support EDU content on Twitch. Did you guys ever hear of the Knowledge Fellowship? Exclamation point TKF to learn more. Wait, seven point in China? What part of China? Like, 
ed oh i just thought you mistyped and forgot the u <laughs> oh erectile dysfunction nice Spreadsheet for commands here? No, you don't. Because I can unmod you. <laughs> now you're already feeling like you have to mod. So you're getting rid of this. Actually, there's an easier way. I don't have to type it. There, now you're unmodded. Don't feel obligated to, you, you were trying to do mod things already. <laughs> How dare you try to mod? <laughs> Yeah, this one was what, three and three eighths. Three. I unmodded him. I can't mod Mike before Pez. If Pez found out Mike was modded in my channel, Pez would be so sad. And we all know we don't like a sad Pez. There you do your job. That's the thing, it's not meant to be a job. You ever see that? What's that one channel where every single person in the channel is a mod? Is that the real shook on or something like that? First time you ever fired? Yes, I get to be your first. Yugi, what's up? How are you doing? Booted you from Twitch? Wait, I timed you out for one second. Because that unmods you. That's like the easiest way to unmod someone is just to time them out for a second. Oh, it booted you from the chat. Wait, a one second. Oh, you <laughs> wait. You, I made you mod, and you're watching me in mod view. Even if I'm a mod for someone's channel, I'm not even in mod view. <laughs> what kind of mod does that make me? <laughs> okay, let's cut the inside of that line. Not allowed to do real modding here. Well, yeah, kind of. I don't really like having mods, especially if it feels like there's an obligation to participate. That stopped working as a mod. I like my mods to be able to watch a chill, relaxed stream without feeling like they're working. And you, I don't know, sometimes people modding feel like they uh, can, can't troll as much. And I know Mike likes to troll with Pez and David and Ryan. You're cleaning out my request? What request? <laughs> Wait, you're actually doing things? I don't even know what you're talking about. Request for what? Oh, geez, I can't put my mask on.
if it's on the channel page and not in my view. I, yeah, I have no idea. I just chill and smile. Okay, chopping time. Everyone be good. All right. Press Q had a ton. Oh, like point requests and things like that for like Watson treats. <laughs> I know, Uni. I know. It's just internal battles I have with myself. All that good old stuff. Oh, I'm covered in dust. Kent Black, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the uh, insanity where I almost trip over brooms. Oh, Did I miss anything? Wait, so who all am I married to right now? <laughs> Mr. Hell. Brian, are you making a case to be mod? To be out. Stay hydrated. Thank you. I do need a drink. I am covered in dust. It's just sparkles. These are sawdust is my favorite kind of sparkle to be covered in. Caitlin would like woodworking. Lots of sparkles are involved. Married to, I married chat. Is it a successful case? <laughs> it's you, you offer, you present a great offer. Here, seventy two thousand seven hundred eighty four cheered. 
X100. Run from the sham marriage. Wow. Divorce us the same day. No, I wouldn't divorce you same day. I'm going to marry my tier three subs. Which means I'm single because I don't have any. True to use them and unlock them. <laughs> or I'll marry my tier two subs, but I don't have any of them either. So I guess I gotta marry my tier ones. But if I'm marrying my tier ones, I consider you all like everyone else. So I marry all of chat, I marry all my followers. You know, we'll just keep doing it like this. Half of my foot. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> when you're done. One of each? There's there would be no reason to hire tier sub to me. Some people didn't have done it before. I don't know why, but I think it was just a mistake. Like talk thankfully I talked them out of from doing it again. That's so much money. Especially for someone like me. I don't push for that stuff. Like someone did it and I felt bad, so I put random horrible emotes there, like a gold and silver heart. View bots, they deserve. I mean, I have to have view bots. If I average like 70 people for driving from Florida to Pens or from Pennsylvania to Florida, I average 88 on my drive up. How could that not be view bots? Like, I'm still shocked. Why so many people watch that drive. I was just testing the live view, really. And then I just kept shooting. Shows how boring your life. But at the same time, you had a, yeah, I had a 100K bits limit then. I definitely don't mind the support as much. I, as an example, I have people coming out for impact window quotes in the next couple of weeks. That was the phone call I got where I had to mute myself there. Um, first time thinking out here is like June 7th or June 2nd. It's like, wow. <laughs> oh yeah, true. True. The whole COVID aspect of things. I didn't really think about that too much. But I'm looking to get impact windows for a hurricane season, at least the sliding door and the front door, because those aren't in great shape. And maybe just shutters on the windows. I'll get my different quote estimates and see which way I want to go with it. Gay Florida life. I'm curious what the um, lead time's gonna be once I like agree to a, a contract how long it'll actually take their team to get out here. 
I was off to the side talking, wasn't I? But yeah, that's that's. I was also doing that this week. I was uh, researching uh, local businesses and whatnot to reach out for estimates. So I was doing adult things this week. Catching up on life. You know, adult stuff. should work feels good I don't mind I mean I knew it was, it's part of buying a house can't travel as easily without COVID oh yeah I, I realize that it's just like I know parts of the stream like nothing was happening be and even my BRB screen stopped working there for a bit so it was just like a frozen screen <laughs> And 95 is not an exciting road. But you were great entertainment for me. I was very thankful for you all being there. That's a knot. Guess what though? This was our last lap joint cut. Working is not a fast thing, especially when you're streaming it. Then being a passenger, looking out the window and doing other passenger things at home. True. It's probably nicer to be a passenger from your PC, right? Because you have your PC. Whereas you can't always have your laptop. Ooh, by the way, it's Ryobi's days at Home Depot for anyone out there that's also team green. Some decent deals. You buy two four amp hour batteries, you get a free tool. That is not an ad. I am just team Ryobi. If you can't tell from my Ryobi fan, my Ryobi drills, my Ryobi circular saw. My Ryobi weed whacker, my Ryobi blower. And I won't show you the wall back there, but Ryobi. Everything's team green here. You see that? No, that'll work. Propaganda. Yep. They should sponsor me for my one wood shop stream I want. That's a good looking joint right there. No, not that kind of joint. Aim that chisel straight at the femora. Is that what I was doing? No, I, was, I knew, depending on the, the, the tapping power. Guess what? We are ready to do a dry assembly. Let's leave this out up here just in case I need to access it.
All righty, all the joints are cut. Let's see how it fits together. Oh, I should sweep. Um, uh, oh, I need to unlock that side. <clears throat> on your own time. Well, I might do this on the floor, so I need to move this all anyway. That's why I was thinking clean up. I didn't want to assemble it in the middle of a bunch of dust. You know what I mean? You mean Twitch doesn't want to watch sweeping? Dang. I thought that would be super exciting. I do want to, I don't want to keep stepping through it. So I am going to make it a little bit more controlled. Okay, over here to the side. I just don't wanna step in it and track it everywhere. Oh, there's little wood chips all over the place. What? <laughs> Hurricane, I know, right? Sweeping in a hot tub. Wow. Ava, what's up? How are you doing? You're, you're perfect timing. We're doing a test fit. Oh, by the way, when I said Team Green, Team Green. So this could probably angle down just a little bit. I took your what? How was your stream, Ava? Okay, so this is bottom. This is top. And then the sides just go wherever. Holy organized. I try. <laughs> ah. Let's do this piece first. Nice. Wrong way. Shorter side down. This one might be a tight fit. Nope, we're good. Look at that. Jinpei, the doctor is live. What's up, Jinpei? How you doing? And contact actual big brain stuff? Where have you been watching my clips? Just like... While lurking just now, this one is going to be a tight fit. Let's see if it fits better over there. Have to check that one out. Big brain stuff. Might jam in. Oh, you do the reactions for outdoor IRL videos? Awesome. Wait, for outdoor IRL? Like, 
there's a user outdoor IRL who does outdoor IRL reaction videos. But their name's Outdoor IRL. Now, so this one's a tight fit here. So I think those will squeeze in. Oh, so you're the one that makes those. Oh, so that's actually Outdoor IRL in those videos. Oh my gosh, I thought that was him. Ugh. That was meant to happen. Nothing's glued together yet, okay? Come on. Ta da. Yeah, so those ends will be tight, but it'll work. Oh, the guest host, Nasan. Not, uh, nice. So, if you're wondering why it looks like this, the rain barrel sits right in here. So dry fit is good. Now I gotta figure out how I want to put it all together. So of course I'm going to use glue and I'll probably put two screws in each one. Uh, so I'll put the cross beam together first and then we'll add the side pieces. So yeah. Perfect. Get the level out, must be low. The problem is I'm putting it on the ground, that's probably not level. So making it super level in the garage doesn't make a lot of sense. This is an ankle. So we'll start out with these pieces here. I need my drill. Camera angle okay right there? Yeah, that kind of works. So, what size do I want to use? Probably my two and a half inches. I don't think anything will split here. I might need to crank in my threes. Oh yeah, I want to use my exterior screws anyway. I need to use these ones. Because this is going to get wet. I don't want to use drywall screws. That work. Figure that out later why that's not working.
knobby knees. I don't have knobby knees. Maybe I do. So the glue isn't super required since I'm screwing it, but I like the extra, the extra support here. No clue as to the answer. I missed the question. Hot tub stream when? Well, Ava, now that we have a category, I can just go to the beach. So now I can stream metal detecting in its own category. Yeah. How convenient is that? Think of all the extra viewers that would come by my stream. I mean, I'm technically at the beach, so it should be allowed. Which might move me to that category since I'm at the beach. Think that would work. I actually have no idea what would work. You would. You all. No, but think of the possibilities now. I can finally live my dream of metal detecting in a Speedo. I mean, I could have done that before, just not showing myself on camera. But now I can wear my Speedo, put the camera on a tripod, and you all can just watch me metal detect as I walk around in my Speedo. Because I have the wireless mic system now. So the world is my oyster, as they say. I should have pre-screwed these ones. <laughs> you control the drone. How's your exploration? I haven't gotten out in a few weeks because I traveled, but... Okay, this one is not being happy right there. I'm gonna reach. When it's tough like that, I like to pre-drill. I'll try another one beside it. There's a knot in this. So I'm gonna pre-drill this one. Let's see, probably five eighths. Yeah, should be fine. Oh, bird names on my body. That's actually an amazing idea. Great idea, pizza. Oh, exclamation point finds. We find lots of stuff. You've probably seen the vibrator one, right? Oh, 
Oh, much better like that. Six point eight. Oh no. Oh, you haven't seen the Bible for one. Oh wow, you're missing out. Are you yaying because they haven't seen it? What are you yaying for, Ava? <laughs> okay, this one will have to hammer in, but it should be okay. Because you can watch it again, you weirdo. Yeah, the vibrator clip has gone viral in a bunch of YouTube React videos. You've never seen a notorious clip? Well, you're not missing anything. I don't think it's a great representation of my content. I do much more than that. Oh, forgot if you had Florida, Space Coast of Florida. Do this a bit smarter. This one isn't crazy clean, but it'll get the job done. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Copper. Like this. I think that has a bump on it. There we go. Let's screw it. I like the drilling it anyway. Let's pre-drill it still. I know it's, I can't deny it's not solid. You can't deny actual content, but you see it. Ouch. No, I press the button at, I do press the button though. Oh, yeah. Yes, I glued it. Come back. But first, oh, the finger wanders, but you didn't. Yeah, you know, at, in all honesty, when I first picked that up, 
I thought it was a chapstick holder, like a waterproof chapstick holder. Why that would exist, I don't know, but that's what I thought it was. Because why would I think I found a vibrator? You know, things that don't cross your mind. then I should really know I'm in Florida and anything is possible. You know what they say? The world is your oyster. Well, that's true in Florida. I don't think that's what that saying is supposed to mean, but you know, life's like a box of chocolates. Sometimes you find vibrators. Yeah, it looked like a waterproof container. That's my first thought. Yeah, if you've never watched those videos where someone gives a box of chocolates and it's not a box of chocolates and there's something else hiding in it. And it's like, happy Valentine's Day. Ouch. That was hot. I just drew them quick. I didn't think it'd be that hot that fast. Yeah, it's so nice. Actually, looking at that and not hearing the underscores is really glorious. <laughs> Oops. Ooh, that one went deep. Underscore, underscore, underscore. I didn't even see this trivia question here. Oh no, that was where I put chat. This one will squeeze down in. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okazaki fragments, duh. How could no one know Okazaki fragments? So disappointed. Underscore was not the correct answer. Let the towel off oh, my back. Oh, my back. I've been bent over in a bad position. Yeah. On your menu at Benihana. I don't know. I've never been to a Benihana. 
Oh, later, Ava. You you say bye right when you make fun of me. Wow. So far though, that one's going. A heart's not gonna make up for it. We're calling the old. <laughs> yes, I do need to stay hydrated. Look, I learned I'm letting cold bit pull off. In which I don't need that now. <laughs> I don't know if vintage sounds much better. Guess what? It's level enough. Pretty sure you're young. How old are you, Copper? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Yeah, I'm like a good cast iron pan. Forty one. All right, ten years older than me. What's the best angle? I should have put cleaner sides up there. Here it is. We have done it. Now, because like the two by fours are rounded, not two by fours, because the four by fours are rounded, they're not clean joints. This one's pretty good in the middle, but this is pretty sturdy. Yeah, that's gonna work great. So I'll check my final distance right here going across. Perfect. Rain barrel is 24 inches, so that'll slide right into there, and everything's gonna fit just fine. Nice. Oh yeah, that wasn't too bad. Hardest part was making all these joints and then fitting it all together. You can't be old because that'd mean I'm old too. Joanna, wait, wait. Oh, Joanna, you said 85 at one point. Someone, there was a group of you. A lot of you were born like 85 gang. I, I think you were part of 85 gang, if my memory isn't completely shot. Wait, you're 90? No way. We're both 90s? I knew you were cool. I knew you were a cool one. Oh, your sister is, okay. 
A 95. Oh, little baby. So young. Okay, so I'm not going to move this out and put the rain barrel in, but I will share pictures in Discord once I do get the rain barrel in. I might have to pull that in a little bit more on the bottom. Uh, but who's your sister? Are you trying to... Show interest in Joanna's sister. Oh, Rai Rai is so whittle. <laughs> Been on this earth. <laughs> yeah, I know. Pizza, I remember you saying you're a tad older than most of us. <laughs> no, maybe. Ryan, we love to have fun. Okay, I don't think, you, you all don't want to watch Clean Up. You all don't want to watch Clean Up. Maybe you do. I don't want to stream clean up. How about that? <laughs> yeah, aren't you from Poland, if I recall? All right, I think I'm going to go into the PC and I will see you all there. But yes, today we had a successful build. And again, I will uh, show the final product with the rain barrel in it once I get this outside. But that's all I have for inside the garage. So thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out and thank you for watching. Yeah, that was fun. Well, we need to waste 20 minutes. Record, stop, boom. Okay, so it's gonna switch to BRB. I mean, it doesn't look like anything pretty, but it elevates the rain barrel off the ground. And that's the important part. And I got nicely covered in dust or glitter. GeoGuessr, what's that? All right. Uh, so this is going to switch to BRB, and I'll be back at the PC. I'm going to fill up my glass of water, and I'll be there in like five minutes. Less than five minutes. It'll be like two minutes. But I need to turn this stuff out here, and then I'll see you guys in a second. I should bring that. Nah. The cells in your mouth. Check it out. Yo. How do they look? They fit pretty well. I mean, I like my sunglasses a bit better, but we have new sunglasses now. They work well for my big face. Big face people need bigger sunglasses. I think that's fashion. I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, so right here would be a blood vessel moving through this brain tissue. And then you see this dark matter surrounding it. These are actually foots of these astrocytes. So in, I'll zoom into these eventually, but you can see all these individual astrocytes, all these dark stains in here are actual astrocytes. So it's really, really neat um, that we can see these. And if we zoom in here, just, um, you know, with the program, we can see these wrappings around the capillaries here and these star shaped structures and all these little you know pieces coming out clinging to neurons around them so they're supporting the neurons they're helping them make neurotransmitter if they need to um, they're regulating what comes through these capillaries so this is called the blood brain barrier it's a very very important part of the central nervous system so that controls what comes in and out of the brain i think we found whatever it was whoa Um, this is interesting.
the green screen is on. Let's turn the green screen off. No, that's not it. Oh, it's on the other filter. Hold on. There. That doesn't look weird. Boom. Hello, hello. Want to don't lick me? We're here to give treats. Oh man, look at the sawdust on me. Here, let's turn. Let's turn a light on. Where's the switch? There we go. Mm. There we go. A little better lighting here. Look at all the sawdust that's on me. We need to give Watson treats. Hello. Hello, Rebecca. Should have blown. Yeah, I should have done a lot of things and I didn't do it. <laughs> Mike, are you there? <laughs> Access denied. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Let's give Watson treats. Come on. Hit. Two. Hey. Easy. Four. Now let's get a find a big one. Ready? There you go. Thank everyone. Thank everyone. High five. Hit. Give high five. Good boy. Any <laughs> balance on nose. Did you ban Mike? No, I made him mod for like five minutes. And he started doing mod stuff and like clearing the queue and um, doing commands. I'm like, no, now Mike feels like he's working. I don't want to stress him out. So I unmodded him and timed him out for a second. He just got lots of pay for that. Darwin, you coming in? Darwin, you made a, never made an appearance before. Are you coming in, Darwin? Nope. Nope. I don't know if I can go for another 15 minutes here. Because <laughs> Caitlin might start late. I might not be able to finish in time. That sentence wasn't going a correct direction, so I'm not going to finish the sentence. Oh, there he is. This is Darwin. Hi, Darwin. He is a big fluke. He's not chonky, he's fluffy. He oh he has a resting grumpy face. He always looks grumpy. He doesn't like to lay too long. Yeah, no, he's always he always has a grumpy face. He's just full fluff. Right, Darwin? We have conversations. Completely normal. Alrighty, did I finish everything right there? I just said. <laughs> Mike, we were just talking about all the power you had and how I had to unmod you because you were working too hard as a mod, and my mods are supposed to like do nothing. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have a mod that's doing something. So I timed you out. Well, he's inside in my air conditioner, so he's not that bad. Alrighty. 
Oh, I asked earlier, who wants VIP? Flash. Boom. You have an underscore, right? There you go. Caitlin V3 communities and pizza. Just got mod. David Alexander, type in chat. I know you have numbers in your name. What are they? When was the last time David Alexander chatted? There it is. 82, that's what it is. VIPs. Everyone's getting VIP right now. Oh, thank you for being here, Kim. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> well, not not everyone. <laughs> it takes. I don't know. I like to think of VIPs as people I know. Like, I know them more than a username. That sounds weird, but no, as like a streamer. Like, you all know me, right? You all know me pretty well. But like, I don't know you all pretty well. And so like, my VIPs are people that, that know me, like, kind of like outside of the whole like streaming life thing. You know what I mean, if that makes sense. Probably didn't word it. 100% properly. Because, like, in the evenings, I always hang out with the Caitlin V3 community. And, like, so we're in voice chat all the time. So I know all those jabronis really well. But I haven't given it to Pez yet because he doesn't come to stream enough. Yeah, it, it, yeah. But I don't know where you live, Green Herring. Oh, great. Great. <laughs> I don't know. Where, I only know the region where you and pizza live. <laughs> okay, time to un-VIP pizza and Green Herring. <laughs> Twitch equivalent of a hug, yeah. But yeah, Pez doesn't get it. Pez wasn't here. You gotta be here now. And also I know Pez will be like secretly kind of salty about it. And that in itself is fun <laughs> Rebecca I hope eventually I can prove to be a good person here someday usually I, no you're not garbage it's just you have 50,000 usernames so I would <laughs> I'd be less inclined to VIP you because I never know what username you're going to show up to as chat <laughs> Twitch space, top, oh my God, remember the MySpace top eight? That was like making and breaking friendships. It's not a job, Michael. Wait, are you salty you lost your sword? Don't tell Pez that happened. Oh wait, it won't allow your answer? <laughs> Good job, Twitch. I can understand why Twitch wouldn't allow it. 
Are you playing with your sock toy? What are you doing? What are you doing? Has Caitlyn started? Have I? Caitlyn probably hasn't started a stream yet. What are you doing with sock toy? This is a sock toy. <laughs> Can we guess Mike's middle name? Michael. James. Michael James. Syrian. What? Boom. Even wrong, Frederick. The barrel bin you did and burrows. I don't know. We didn't take a. I didn't take a picture of it yet. It's not in the actual barrel yet. But I will post the final product of it. But we did get it built. Oh yeah, my mom doesn't have a middle name. I always hate that because you know how hard that makes those questions on like password things. Where what's your what's your mother's middle name? She doesn't have one. Did you know we were watching? <laughs> 715. No, 7. <laughs> Bad. Watson's so loud when he plays in here. Did you just drop it? Should never answer those correctly anyway. <laughs> what? Oh, I know it's dinner time. Do you guys want to hack my bank accounts? Go right ahead. There's nothing in. You, when you know when you like when you value when you put like your time put into something and what you get out of it, like that wouldn't be worth your time. Yeah, you have to remember the wrong answers. That's so hard. Okay, uh, let's figure out who to raid here. People are gonna show up and be like, why oh, streamer shirt covered in dirt? That was fun. Hold on, let's actually check um, weather, for, weather for this weekend. Let's check the surf report. Maybe we can waste some time here. Um, 19 mile per hour onshore winds. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be high surf all weekend. It's not gonna be looking like detecting is gonna be good until Wednesday next week. Uh, tide wise, low tides are looking like uh, 11 p.m. Saturday. Not ideal. You get out at 8, but it's gonna be so windy. Tomorrow, 18, 20 mile an hour winds all day, right on shore. That'll just be atrocious all day winds are dying down by sunday then so maybe we can get out sunday morning for a detecting session low tide is at noon so we can try to beat some people but it'll be tough it could be a pretty clean day out there so we'll try to get out and do some detecting on sunday uh i do have to feed psycho one's cat that night he gave me lunch today so i cannot forget to do that and ducks off that. Is her friend? Boyfriend, boyfriend hubby? What are you talking about? Oh, is she... Um, oh, what's his name? Bang? Is she out and about? Oh, later, Bacon. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if I know who that is, Sarah. Sunday, we'll try to do that tomorrow. Maybe it's going to be windy. I don't know. I don't know. I want to go birding. I miss going birding. BMP still streams? What? BMP doesn't stream anymore. I thought he quit streaming.
Let's go to open up my Twitch. I follow a lot of people. Don't auto play. Don't auto play. Don't auto play. Twitch, don't auto play. Boom. I muted it. Tornado time for Storm Chaser. EJ's playing Kerbal. Dasher's birthday stream? Is Daily Dasher's birthday? How's Go Girl still streaming? Oh, eight point Sedia is on. But yeah, I don't know about tomorrow's stream. I'll have to see, play play it by wind, if that's a saying. And fire, I guess, too. Ooh, BMP is on. Worldwide Intersection Theory Seminar in Caps Locks. He would Caps Locks that. No, play it by wind. Well, from Alpha, isn't he like that math dude? Highlight last week's because last week's was just a uh, great. Sorry if you're hearing things. Oh, she's lecturing on Financial Friday, basics of bonds. You guys want an economics lesson? I can send you. If it's Dasher's birthday, I'm inclined to go to Dasher too. Where's he at right now? Yeah, it looks like he's in Ecuador. Okay, we'll go to Dasher. I haven't raided Dasher in a while. Uh, slash raid daily Dasher. Captain Jack, execute the end of stream. Sarah, oh no. Jack didn't listen. All right, you all know me. No one's new here now. Socials, there they are. All right, uh, go over there, wish Dasher a happy birthday. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out while I was making that thing. I need to clean up, get dinner, and maybe I'll put the thing together later as well. Uh, make sure you go watch Caitlin's streams and too. She's starting her stream later. Uh, but yeah, thank you all today. I'll see you sometime this weekend, hopefully Sunday, maybe tomorrow, if it's clear out. I think that's how it works. No, it needs to have a space in it. Maybe Jack's dead. I don't know. All right, but see you, everyone. Thanks for being here. I hope you enjoy the wood shop stuff. I'm always like being in, in the wood shop and sharing those streams with you. All right, have a great day and bye-bye.